Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this ClackApp rechargeable LED spotlight. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Here are the modes. We have LED high, LED low, and LED strobe. So that's on the main light. And then we have a side light that says Cobb floodlight, Cobb red night vision, Cobb red strobe. So this has a power bank function. This has a large battery in it so you can charge your phone with it. It has a charge indicator. It says four red indicator lights on after fully charged. Please charge the battery if only one indicator light on. That means it has a low battery. So here's the spotlight, has instructions, has a micro USB cable. So this has micro USB charging and USB out for charging your devices, has a built-in foldable tripod, LED spotlight, the button on the right is for the spotlight, and it has a cob floodlight with a button on the left. So this has a battery indicator light, power bank function, here's the lighting mode, press once for the LED spotlight high, press again for the low, and press a third time for the strobe. Then this says press four, cob floodlight high, press five, cob red night vision, press six, cob red strobe. So according to the description, this has four 1500 milliamp hour 18650 lithium ion cells. So the 18650 is a standard lithium ion cell. This has eight hours of output when it's fully charged. It says it's water and impact resistant. I couldn't find the water rating, but I'm guessing this is not submergible, but it would work well in the rain. So it has this fold out tripod mode. So you can do that. So the handle will move. You give it a little extra force. So if you're, say, changing a tire or something, you could aim that. So I think that's a neat feature of this. So you can hold it like this. It looks like you could even hold it more of a pistol style, although the balance is a little bit off on it. It kind of pulls back. It's more comfortable to hold like this. So, and while I am pulling up on this, you have to pull hard enough that the weight of this isn't going to pull down on it. It can easily support the weight. So here's the back. So that has a gasket seal on it, and we have the USB ports. So the micro USB is for the charging. This one is for charging your devices. Looks like there's some plastic on here. Let off. So I think this lens is plastic. It does have rubber around it. This is actually a flexible rubber coating, and you can see the light on the inside, and there's rubber on both sides. So this is a hard plastic in the middle. It has this rubberized coating on the top and bottom. Here it has these hard plastic supports here so you can stand it upright. It doesn't roll away. So let's turn this on. So here's the spotlight turned on. That's the high mode, low mode, and this is the flash mode. Now let's turn the other side on. So that is the high mode. Here's the red mode. There's the flash mode. So this has a spotlight and then it has lights on either side. This is the white and this is the red. So I'll point my camera at the wall so we can take a look at the light this casts. Okay, so you can see the spotlight here. I'm going to move this closer. So you can see there's a broad even light and then there's a spot in the middle. So the spot in the middle will project further. I'll turn that to the next mode. That's the low mode. This is the emergency mode. So this is the broad light. So say you're looking at a map or you're cooking dinner or something like that, you might want to use this broad light. This is the red light. And actually I just talked about looking at a map. A lot of times you'll use red light if you don't want to hurt your night vision. So you could use this. So you could have this sitting on your picnic table like such, and it could cast the light over your map and you could look at it and hopefully not hurt your night vision too much. And here's the red flashing mode, emergency mode. So you could potentially point this forward and have the other light pointing down at your feet. So you could be searching the woods for something, but you have the light pointing down to help you watch your step. So it's daytime now. I'm gonna cut the video and I will come back at night and test this outside. Okay, so I'm at the end of my driveway about 50 feet and I'm pointing at the garage and you can see the spot there it's probably about three three and a half feet wide and then you can see the light also goes on either side and here's the light on the lower mode. So that's the ClackApp 6000 lumen LED spotlight. There are a lot of nice features on this. It's rubber on the front and back, so it has a little bit of a impact resistance there. Since this hangs below your hand, this would be very comfortable if you're just like, say, walking down a hiking path at night and you're just pointing this forward. It's very natural to hold this. Of course, you can also move your hand around to point it at things, but in the neutral position, it's really easy to hold. I like this integrated tripod. It makes it really easy. If you want to aim it at something, you can just do that. Fold it up when you're done. And of course you can adjust the angle there easily too. And I think one of the neat features of this is along with the white light here, it has that red light. So if you're doing stuff at night and you don't want to hurt your night vision, you can use this red light. So I think that's great for like reading things. Like if you're cooking a meal at a campsite, I think you'd probably be better off 
using the white light, but for like map reading, I think the red light is the best option. I think it's nice that this is USB rechargeable. So you can charge this with a phone charger, a car charger. I mean, there are countless ways you can charge this. And also it takes a standard cable. So if you lose the cable, it's easy to find a micro USB cable. And of course it has the built-in battery pack so you can charge your phone and other devices from this. Now I have other battery packs, so I don't know that I'll use that very often, but it's nice that that feature exists just in case you need it. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.